Hey guys, okay, so this is, what am I stepping on? That's a backpack, alright. This is an updated, um, uh, customs video. Um, granted these are not all of my customs right now. My customs are also in the basement if they're just getting repainted, which I think I have a few things down, or I think I have like 20 or so horses, but a lot of them are staple mates. Um, I think there's like 10 traditionals, but, uh, they're not really exciting, I don't think. Uh, no, I don't think they are. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, to go through this, I'm just going to start over here. I haven't done anything else with these guys. Um, it's just my stable mates. Um, this guy is my top priority to finish. He needs his braids and painted. Um, this guy also needs his braids and painted and his tail back on. Um because that one is getting traded for a resin, and then that one's my friend, so I have to finish it anyway. But, um, none of these other ones have been finished or worked on, so we're just gonna ignore those. Um, alright. So starting at the... Oh, hold on. Oh, goodness. Prancer was in my way. My room is so very clean. Clean, as you can tell. <laughs> it's really clean. Alright. So, starting at the top, this is a uh, Silver Knight. Yep. Um, he will be for sale after Carolina Gold, but um, he is a Mustang. He's like a, he's a Roan splash paint kind of thing. Anyway, um, um, I still have to paint a little bit of his mane. I might just leave it because it's a little bit brown and it just gives it more texture. But anyway, um, he needs, I, I think all of these guys really need details. I don't think I've gotten to that on any of them, but, um, yeah, he needs some shading in him, but he's really, really cute, and I really like how his muscles turned out and everything, um, so yeah, I have no idea how well he'll show because of, um, he'll be in the Mustang class, so it'll be crazy, um, this is a newspaper monster, so we're just gonna ignore him, <laughs> he's, um, getting his whites worked on, so he's a monster at this point. This is just for my friend. Um, she wanted me to paint it, so it's there so I don't forget about it. Um, Rags to Riches for, um, I don't know what her YouTube name is. On Instagram, it's, um, Model Horse Chickadee. Yeah. Anyway, this is hers. Um, I'm working on the ears, and, uh, she still, I think, might need more nose, and she's got a little short tail. I've got to do the mane and the tail. Um, but yeah, I really hope I can get her done by Carolina Gold, but I need to actually, you know, work on her. That's a bunch of hair. We're just going to ignore that. Okay. Um, this was my first try at a, um, I'm going to say it wrong, just ignore it, because this is how I say it. Cremello, that's how I say it, so get over it. Um, and I really like him. He's going to be for sale also. He's also a Pinto, as you can tell. Um... But yeah, my camera is totally, like, bleeding him out, but, um, he actually has shades in him. I promise. Um, I might take him back downstairs. And whenever, whenever I say downstairs, it normally means just airbrush, because that's what's in the basement. Okay, um, but I might I'd take him to, back downstairs to do his whites along with that guy. And rags, because she needs to be primed. Okay, um, just a mare and full. I was testing out the color on these guys. This guy is just chillin'. It was also like a test subject, so she's just chillin'. Don't really know what to do with her. Okay, this guy was my first try at a buckskin, and it turned out done. So, <laughs> um, she is a commission for my friend, because my friend had asked for, or she wanted my Lady Faze, um, that one. And then I was like, I have another body, do you want me to just paint you a different color? And she was like, oh my god, yeah. So, um, she accidentally turned out as a dun, but her color is actually really, really nice. So I didn't want to repaint her. So I told my friend, and my friend was like, oh my god, I love, I love duns too. And I was like, alright, sweet, because I don't want to repaint her. Okay, and then, let's see, who's next? Oh wait, okay, we're going to do him, because he's going to fall. This is my little Fjord, um, which I say that wrong too, but that's okay. Um, Colt thing. I think it's Fjord. I don't know. I might do him as a cross, because that's what I was originally planning, but a couple people said he could just be a Fjord. So, he's just chilling with his mom. 
and his dad. This is dad. <laughs> um, he's going to be a Zorse. I have to work on him. He will be for sale because I need money because I'm saving up for a new resin and yeah, it's going to take a while. But anyway, I can't decide if I want to leave him as is or um, go ahead and put Zorse on him. I'm probably going to put Zorse on him because I can't. Okay, I'll do some switch in here. Okay, so the little guy's mother, this is her. Um, she has a really dark face. I know that's how the picture came out or how the reference photo was. Wow, she's really light. That's weird. Okay, um, and as you can see, she has little spots all over because she's going to be in Appaloosa. So, I've got a plan for her too. Don't worry. She is a um, Fjord Appaloosa cross, and it's adorable. Her mane's long compared to my reference photo, but that's okay. We're going to go with it anyway. This little guy is just really cute. He might be a sales piece. I really like the sculpture, but again, saving for resin, and I need money, so. Which, he won't be a lot of money, but you know what I mean. Okay, there's one ear. Where's my other ear? I lost an ear. I'll find it later. Okay, so these are my three winter songs I'm working on. Um, this is stallion number two, and stallion number two is right... Oh, goodness. There. So... I took off all of his mane. He's going to be, he's going to have a flat neck, but it's going to be, um, he's going to have a long long mane that's going to be flatter than a normal, because you see the winter song is all like wavy and stuff. I wanted it flat. His ears are going to be forward. He's going to have a, um, short tail, like a bobbed, um, Clydesdale show tail. And he's going to have those, um, feather things that they have. And the ribbon and everything fancy. Okay. And then this girl is going to be so much work. This is my mare. And it's not focused. Come on, camera. You can do it, I promise. Nope. Just not going to want to cooperate. All right. So this is my um, mare. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill this camera. Haha. <laughs> okay. So she's a lot more work. She's going to be cantering. Wait. Hold on. She's going to be a performance horse, actually. Once I get her done, she is right there, kind of. Okay. Um, she's going to have a long tail. It's going behind her and a mane that's upright. And, yeah. Um, she's going to be... Oh, I forgot to say. He's going to be a dappled black. She's going to be... Um, what's it called? Like a strawberry roan-ish horse. She has so much work to do. And I have to redo all of her feathers, too. Because it's in like a different, it's in a different motion. So she's going to be heavy. Okay, so this guy I just did on a whim because I wanted to, and um, because I realized I hadn't, I don't have any winter songs that aren't just repainted. They're all um, like um, resculpted in some way, other than um, Gallifrey. Gallifrey is my only one. So I did this guy. He needs his layer of matte finish, obviously, over top of him. But, um, he's my first Gorilla. Um, other, I did a, um, medallion at some point, but this is my first full scale and airbrushed one. So I really like him. He's really cute, so. Yep. Okay. Goodness gracious, these guys are huge. Okie dokie. So he's actually almost done, um... I have to do his hooves and his eyes and more of his blaze. Okay, this is a commission. I have a lot of commissions. Um, he obviously needs a matte finish again, like, also. Um, but he's a little Oliver resin um, that I'm currently painting. And he needs um, more white, especially in this area. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on, camera. You can do it. Especially on his hips. It's a little bit see-through. You can't really tell. Um, I guess you can tell on that part. No, my, my light's just really like bleeding out things. And then he's got, um, he got a fingerprint from when I was finishing him. But that's easy to fix. Um, he needs, he's going to have a lot of little black spots over his socks. So I have to do that. And I'm going to redo his kissy spots um, to be bigger. So he needs some work, but I'm going to have him done by Carolina Gold for sure. Okay. We'll start this one. Oh, I have another winter song. <laughs> they just kind of show up. Alright. Uh, this smart chick is just 
chilling. I don't really know what to do with him. Um, I'm gonna put some socks on him. I kind of, I kind of call him Carrot Top because he's really, he's not as orange as it looks in the video, but he's pretty orange. Like he's just a chestnut. Um, so yeah, he's pretty orange. But anyway, <laughs> he's really cute and he's really nice shading. But you can't tell because my camera and my room sucks. But um, he's gonna have like socks to like mid. Would it be cannon? I think it's cannon. I don't know. I'm really bad at leg bones on horses. Um, and I might give him a, um, a snip and a stark. Okay, I don't know where to put him. We're gonna put him underneath my arm. Alright, this is Bellatrix, and she's going to be repainted again! <laughs> um, she's, she's a mess. She's probably gonna go back to black, to be honest. Um, she just ain't working. She was gonna be buckskin, and you can tell how well that worked. So, um, that horse pisses me off to no end. Anyway, so she will probably go back to black and I will just redo her, um, um, appy because that's what really bugs, bugged me about her was her appy and I can do better appies now, but, um, I'm rearranging as I'm talking because everyone is too close. Okay. Next is Lisa Marie. I repainted her again. Um, so I'm working on whites. Come on, camera. You can do it. Do it, do it, do it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, whatever. Um, so I'm just working on whites, and they are not done. They look done, but that'd be nice, but they're not. Um, come on, camera. Nope. All right. Well, um, so I hope to have her done by Carolina Gold, but we will, we will see. Hopefully. Okay. Another one. This guy's a commission. He was one of my first, she was one of my first ones. She will be shipped out real soon. Um, I just have to do a couple more edges and eyes and stuff, but I need to get her out of here. She needs to leave. Not because I hate her, but because the person who this is commissioned for has been waiting way too long and I feel horrible. This guy, or girl, also has been here forever, and she goes with the Oliver, so I'm not, I'm worried about her, but not as worried, because I do talk to the owner all the time, um, so I'm not, I don't feel as bad, well, I do feel as bad, but you know, um, so she just needs whites and some touch-ups on her base. All right, more commissions. Um, this is my Newsworthy, well, not mine, but um, she's, these two Newsworthies are Newsworthy Addicts. I think that's her YouTube name. I know that's her Instagram name. Anyway, um, this one is a portrait of her horse, I believe, and I think that one's the Bayron. I have to check that. But, um, so I re-sculpted... Oh, my God. Come on, camera. I'm really getting mad at this today. Okay, so I re-sculpted a new tail. It's nice and flowy. And then the mane is straight up. And it's... I don't think it's in the way of any saddle, and it's got a bridle path. So... It should not get in the way. And I tried to make the forelock go up farther so that a brow band can fit between or underneath it. Um, so yeah. And I have to um, get reference photos to start painting him. Okay. The other newsworthy who actually has a stand um, is repositioned by Sonia. Um, I know the tail is up farther and the leg is bent in. I don't think that there's anything else. I can't remember. Um, I have to sand down this ear um, because he lost his ears in something. I don't know. Maybe just shipping. Maybe they're just like that. I got one fixed and then the other one just keeps popping off. So I'm going to be extra careful and keep that one on because it's making me so mad. Anyway, he will be the Bayron. This guy's been here forever too. Whoa. This is the sassy one. Um, there's yelling in my house. All right, um, I need to sand down her um, cheeks or her um, throat latch. But yeah, she's still like the best mane I've ever done. <laughs> um, she has a lot of stuff she needs to be fixed, and it's lifting a bit. So I'm probably gonna be, go back and sand her and then just repaint her because this is when I did pastels. So she's still sassy though, and I really like her. Okay. Let's see, that one goes with this one. This is my sitting um, Peter Stone Morgan. I haven't really finished that one. This one is a commission for um, a 
Western saddle. Um, I have to put a GG tail on him. I fixed his back leg. It was broken. Um, I, I really need to work on him really badly because she keeps sending me photos of like, and the saddle's like almost finished and I'm like, oh god. And I keep meaning to work on him. I'll probably do that tomorrow. JK, I have a lot of homework. Probably won't do it anyway. Okay, this is my secession resculpt. I am in love with her. I really need to finish her. Um, probably not by Carolina Gold. Um, there's like 20 days left. Like, I gotta buckle down and finish, figure out who to finish because, um, like, I just haven't figured out exactly who I need to finish. I know there's a bunch I need to. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's just an itching mare now. And I love her so much. Um, her neck needs to be sanded again. And probably puttied or fixed or whatever. Mane and tail and then that hip dip that needs to be finished. But she's so cute. She's gonna be a bay. And that guy's gonna be pinto. Don't know what that one is. That one will probably stay bay. I don't know. Maybe I'll go crazy. Probably not. Alright. This is my re-sculpt to a Mawari mule. I really like this filly. She's really cute. Um, so I'm probably going to finish her since she's almost done. And I'll sell her after Carolina Gold, probably. I really like her, and I do um, conga this mold, but um, I don't know. I just... I'm in the mood to sell things, so I've been wanting to sell a lot of things. Okay, this is Zay, and Zay is still not finished, of course. She's never going to be finished. Um, I had hopes of finishing her by Carolina Gold, but I don't know. I Call me crazy, but I might just sand her down again, because um, this is not working. Um, because like she's starting to lift, and then um, everything has like a brown outline from when I did it in brown, and I've been going over it in black, but like... I don't know if you can see it. You might not be able to. But there's a little line going across right here. You can kind of see it. Where it's starting to lift a little bit. And like, I just, I'm probably going to just sand her down again and fix it. So, that's fun. I have to restart that. Um, my Huck is kind of going somewhere, kind of not. He needs some sanding. He's got one boob, um, but he's, he needs some sanding, but he's actually kind of almost there. But then I keep forgetting he, he needs a mane and tail still. So, he's kind of almost there. Not really. Who else do I have? Weather Girl, who's going nowhere. Um, O'Leary, who's now kind of standing, but still going nowhere. And I think that's it, but I'm, oh, I have a couple finished ones over that way, but I'll show you her first. I have two Starlight Mares. This is one of them. This is Jumper number two, or Jumper Roman number two, whatever. Um, she was my first, no, second Dapple Gray attempt. This side is definitely better. She's only performance quality, so I realize like she's got mess ups like right there. And that Dapple's messed up, and she's got stuff underneath her finish. And she's got that little line right there. And she's got a bunch of scrapes around her like jump hole thing. So, she's only performance quality, so it doesn't even matter. Um, she's so heavy. Okay, so I'm really excited about her, but, um, and across the room. Sorry, this video is really long, but, you know, it's not a collection tour, so I'm actually explaining things, so there's a reason it's long. All right, um, where are all my customs? This guy. Okay, so I did this guy the other night because I was really upset and I just started painting him, like hand painting him, and I haven't done that in forever, but I really, really like him. This is Oliver. He is my um, mule, my new um, spotted mule, and I am in love with him. Um, my first, like, successful Appaloosa, too. So, yeah, and he, I'm going to keep him glossy, which I wasn't going to, but he looks really good and glossy, so he's just staying like that. Okay, um, this girl got finished. I'll probably repaint her because that's what I do. Um, this is Painted Thief, who obviously is not done. That little donkey is not done. And, do I have any other ones? Oh, these guys. And then this is my Gigi. I, um, pulled her neck in, or her head in, and then painted her dapple gray. A really dark dapple gray. But she's got some mess ups from when I was fitting tack on her. It took off her paint, but that's okay. And she's got socks that aren't done. But yeah, I think that's it.
Yeah. Other than like these guys. They're just chilling up here. Which I don't know if I've shown you them, but they're so cute. Okay. Well, that's it. So thank you for watching and comment if you're excited about any of them. Woo! And also comment if you're going to Carolina Gold because that'd be fun. Yay!